Hello, Knight fans. Welcome to another edition of Kicking It with Roland. This is not head coach Seth Roland. This is instead senior goalkeeper Jacob Lissick. We're having a special Kicking It with Roland this week. Jacob, thank you for taking the time out to talk with us today. Thanks for having me. Uh, absolutely. Let's uh, talk about the offseason that you had. Uh, you played in the Maccabee Games, the 19th Maccabee Games. You were the named the goalkeeper of the tournament, and you helped the USA win a gold medal. So just talk about your experiences over in Israel and uh, I think how, your, how it helped your development as a player. Uh, it was an amazing experience um, to, to win the gold medal, the first uh, gold medal that any uh, men's soccer team had have, have won at the games. Um, the game, the, the, the final game was actually quite interesting. We were, uh, we were up both times 2-1 and then um, they came back and tied it and we were able to go to PKs and they hit the post a couple times and we were able to finish and, and we were able to win. It was an amazing feeling to represent uh, the United States and just to be over there and see the culture and history and it's a beautiful country with, uh, with a lot of interesting and, and great uh, places to see. So it was, it was definitely an amazing experience. Excellent. Let's talk about um, the season so far. It's been kind of up and down, started the season um, really impressively. Uh, four straight wins, four straight clean sheets, um, then some dips and backing up. And, you know, let's talk about the last four games, 0-3-1. Oh, it's, it's been a bit of a struggle in conference play. Just walk us through what's been going on with the team. I know you've been dealing with injuries, but uh, what's the, where, where the, where's the team at mentally? Uh, I think we're, we're focused. You know, we have a goal that we know that uh, – if we come out and we perform well and, and, and finish off these last four games like we know we can, then you know, we, we, we can make it into the tournament and, 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 and do some damage and be in the hunt. But the, the big thing is for us to be in the tournament because if we're not in the tournament, then we can't win conference and defend our title. So uh, you know, we've had a, a little bit of a rough start, but we've had a lot of injuries. I mean, three center backs out is, is no easy task. So you know, we, uh, we just have to keep Keep uh, keep working on it, and uh, I think we'll turn things around. I think we're looking good. Um, against St. John's, a really impressive win against then 14th in the country. Come from behind victory right after that at Siena. What was the difference between those really good wins um, and the last couple of games these last two weeks? I think we just need to f finish our chances a little bit better. You know, there's a couple of chances in, in every game that uh, – that we could have maybe finished, and uh, also defensively, we could have, you know, cut down on some errors that happened. And you know, that's it's both sides of the ball, so we just need to tighten things up, and things will start to come for us. Talking about the injuries, um, a lot of injuries, especially right at the back line. Um, left back Sam Durkat shifting in centrally, will due to another injury to Deshaun Forbes, who was pressed into action alongside Liam Cale. Both came in injuries to Dante Dante for the season. Nick Walker's out. Um, just talk about how the back line's been doing, Durkat and Baron and Shea having to cover, and uh, Forbes and Cahill being pressed into action. You know, I thought for, for guys that, you know, hadn't really seen so much action collegiately, you know, they, they did well when they came in. You know, obviously they have some stuff to learn, and it's, it's a learning curve. But, you know, I thought for, for coming in and having to deal with what they had to deal with, I thought that they did a pretty good job. You know, Sam... Last game, having to switch over to uh, center back, I thought he played really well and he started talking a lot. And you know, I think that you know switching positions around is is n never something that you want to do. But I thought we we managed pretty well and we didn't allow another goal when we switched. So I think you know it was it was a positive switch. I would agree. They've been doing pretty good. Um, so let's talk about the upcoming. Uh, matches. You got LIU Brooklyn coming up on Sunday, 3 p.m. University Stadium. Next Friday, St. Francis Brooklyn, 7 p.m. in Teaneck. Um, just preview the two matches for us. I mean, must wins, obviously, but yeah. I mean, like you said, they're must wins. But uh, you know, LIU is 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 a good team. They're they're on a streak right now. They uh, they beat uh, PA, which is a very very tough team to beat, and uh, they also beat Robert Morris. So they're. Uh, they're playing good right now, and we, we have to come out and take no game lightly. You know, every game counts for us, and every game is, is a must win. So, you know, we want to come out and, and, and get the first win and then continue on to, uh, to New York, St. Francis, New York. And, uh, 
you know, that's another big game. They have a lot of, a lot of dangerous players, and, you know, we're, uh, we're looking forward to the challenge of, you know, we know our backs are against the wall, and, you know, it's time to step up and, and get the job done. And we were talking yesterday, and uh, now that you're a senior, you have the seniority, you can work with a project that it means a lot to you. This Sunday at LU Brooklyn, you're going to make it a uh, breast cancer awareness day. Um, just run us through what you plan to do, uh, what, what you want to do with that game going forward? Um, yeah, so um, it's a, a disease that obviously um, most people are affected by. They know somebody or someone, one of their friends or family is affected by that disease. Um, personally, I was affected. My grandmother in 2010 was diagnosed um, with breast cancer. She luckily was able to recover and she is 100% cleared of it right now, but it's just something that was a disease that that means a lot to me and it speaks a lot to me and so at the game there'll be a table with uh, a donation box and we'll have some flyers with some information and and obviously as many people know I, I wear pink and that is of course in, to support her and you know I wasn't able to do that in previous seasons but I wanted to make sure for my senior year that I was able to do that for her so it's just uh, just a disease that uh, I feel deserves a lot of awareness and it's something that you know can with awareness can uh, can help out a lot of people so that's why I chose to, to do that. Excellent um, great news about your grandmother as well um, so Come out to University Stadium, as always, 3 p.m. this Sunday, if not for a great, re great cause as Breast Cancer Awareness, but definitely support your Knights going uh, the rest of the way in conference play. LAU Brooklyn, 3 p.m. University Stadium next Friday as well, 7 p.m. against St. Francis Brooklyn. Jacob, Thank thanks you. for taking the time. Thank you again. Come out this Sunday, and thanks for watching on FDUnights.com.